Good morning, guys. So we're going to do a bit of sawmilling today. We're set right up here. Got a nice little fire going to warm up. Not that we need it. It's uh, supposed to be plus five today. Um, I think it's around zero right now, plus one. Awesome weather we're having. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to do a little bit of sawing for uh, for that shed we're building. Um, pretty much all of these are going to be one inch boards. So we've got it set up. I've got it up on a little bit shimmed up on one end because we've got a couple inch difference there. So uh, just for the first two cuts, once we square it up, then we'll take those out. And uh, yeah, we'll start cutting our boards. So one by six and one by four is what we're cutting. Um, I didn't actually take count of how many I needed, but I think I'll cut this one board up into one inch sections and then uh, and then we'll see, we'll go from there. All right, we'll get started. Okay guys, so we made some adjustments here. I uh, put a new blade on and noticed the belt was a little bit loose. So we tensioned the belt and uh, I was looking at the bunk here a little bit too and <clears throat> when my blade came across the end of the log it kind of dropped down just a hair so I readjusted the bunk here a little bit so I think that will help um, it was out a little bit but not much we'll see how this works and might have to fiddle with it but for what we're doing um, 16th of an inch that's that's nothing so not a big deal. All right, so here we go. I might need to change this blade. I remember uh, last time I used this, I think it was starting to get dull, so I might have to change this blade, but we'll make it back here. I used it last time and uh, I remember it getting dull but um, here is a shot of the cut that it made it's a nice cut though really it's just uh, I can tell it's starting to get dull because I'm starting to have to push a little bit and once I have to start pushing with these I change the blade right away I don't I don't leave it on there for any length of time at all I've got lots of blades so I can change it up and uh, I can sharpen those blades and bring them up bring them back and they'll, they'll be good as new um, this is a really good cut actually I use an inch and a half blade I've been using those for a bit and I really like it I really like it so I can actually feel a little dip right here I don't really feel it anywhere else. 
and feel a dip right there but that's when your blades start getting dull you'll start to get that so yeah i changed mine right away but i'll change it and uh we'll be right back in business
all guys that gives me just in that last four inch piece I cut that gives me 11 one inch by four boards uh, by 12 feet I'm gonna get another three four five six seven one by sixes seven eight nine ten eleven one by sixes and i'm gonna get another ten one by fours so i'll end up with 21 one by fours and however many one by sixes i said 10 or 11. um yeah that works out all right i think the next log i cut will be mostly one by sixes i'm, I'm gonna head up here and count now and see what i need so i really should have come out here and counted how many of these i needed because Firstly, that would have told me that these are actually three inch boards, not fours. So I gotta go fix that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much, that's all the only mistake I made so far. I need 52 one by threes that'll give me enough for the strapping on the roof and that'll finish off the sides and the back side here and then I need 22 one by sixes so I'm going to take these boards back down and rip an inch off them now we'll get those ready and then I'll keep cutting the rest of these and we'll see what we get out of that one log I think there's nine or ten one by sixes so almost half of what we need and I think there's 11 or 12 more one by threes maybe we'll get a bit more than that because they're uh, not as wide so we'll see to change our cut pattern but yeah i'll go back down and start uh, measuring those boards that we have cut and start cutting them so that fixes that mistake take a look at this this is where i start my cut that's exactly three inches to here right here it's a three and an eighth all the way down to the end I've seen this before on a couple cuts I didn't really pay much attention because I was gonna have to cut a bit off these anyways and I'll have to do the same to these so I'm not really worried about it but I'm not sure why that's doing that I'm gonna have to take a look at my bed my bunk here and check level and see how it's sitting um, if anybody knows why that's happening put a message in the comments and let me know um, not sure like, I guess the blade is starts off and then it lifts up and then it rides straight all the way across not I'm not sure why it does that but I'm gonna have to look into it but that fixes that mistake those are down to three inches now and I guess I got myself a bunch of stickers so now I'm gonna cut these up I'm um, going to see what I can get out of these and go from there. Well, I made a slight adjustment and I mean very slight. I think we're pretty good now. Yeah, three and a sixteenth. And I pretty much started at 3 and a 16th, so, yeah. Okay, I'm okay with that.
Good morning, guys. This is day two. Well, day two for you, I guess. Because I started this project a while ago. So, I've got... Uh, whatever I cut up yesterday, I have it all cut to length. All the boards for the back. So, all the boards... All the boards are cut now. And... Half the battens, I guess. So these ones are done here for this end. This end will be completely done. And then this side will be mostly done. I'm missing... Mm, 25... Somewhere around 40, a little less than 40. And that gets the roof strapped as well. Um, yeah. So I need to go get some screws because I'm out. And unfortunately I don't have a nail gun, which pretty much bothers me every time I do projects like this. I could use one, but I don't have one. So I'm gonna go get some screws. And we're going to screw everything together here. And then we're going to do another count and we'll go cut some one by threes. And that will be our day today.
this board here, which I've been using for marking, so my screws are all in a nice straight line, was supposed to go here. <laughs> and so on and so on and so on. <clears throat> so I was wondering why they're short by about an inch. So those all have to come off and get put in the right order. Oh well, it's coming along. I'll make that change and we'll go from there. I only have a few more one by threes anyways. And then I'll come around to this side and I'll finish these boards off. Well guys, we got this back end just about done. Missing a couple pieces here, but I figured that was gonna happen. I have a couple other pieces left over from before but I didn't like them, so I'll cut some new stuff tomorrow. I've got to cut 42 one by threes and a couple odd ones just for the corners here, uh, four different lengths, but we're getting there. Uh, starting to look half decent. <clears throat> I'll get this all closed in tomorrow and then uh, I had a bit of an idea. So we weren't 100% sure what we wanted to do with this shed. We've had several ideas. We do need a garden shed just for some rakes and some wheelbarrow and just all the crap that goes with gardening. But I had an idea. So I'm still gonna use, utilize this well for sure. I'm gonna set my pump up here and have the water trench go out. The, uh, sorry, the, the trench go out, but the, the line go to the, to the garden. Um, but what I was thinking was, I would separate that and I would utilize this portion here for the pump. I'll put some shelves and stuff in there so we can utilize it, but uh, uh, we want to store our recycling stuff in here so it's not sitting on our deck. So we can throw the recycling there in the corner, whatever, put some shelves up. It doesn't matter. But that'll be for storage. But then, this side here, right from that partition there, maybe this would be a good spot for a sauna. I've been wanting to build one for a while. Just haven't got around to it, hadn't decided where I wanted to put it, and to be honest, this isn't exactly where I want it, but it's already here. I could get some cedar, finish the inside in cedar, insulate it, put a stove up in that corner there, benches here, benches here. I'm thinking about it. Tell me in the comments what you think. I think it would be really cool. I could even run that pump. I could run a water line in here and have a shower or whatever. Maybe a shower on the outside. I don't know, just some ideas. I know <clears throat> I had a friend who had a sauna about the size of this whole building, but he had it, he, he always had it really hot, and he put a, a, a big, well, I want to call it a bucket, but uh, like uh, bigger than a 50-gallon drum. So big enough it had steps up into, and it was always filled with cold water, and you'd sit in here and get hot, and then you'd dunk in that cold water, and then you'd get back out and warm back up again, and it was just awesome. <clears throat> but I don't know... I don't know if we have the room for that in here. I mean, I guess we do, depending on how many benches we want to put in here. But, yeah, just some ideas. I'm kind of liking that idea right now. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, if I did that, I might put another window on this side. That's easy enough to do, though. But, yeah. Tell me in the comments what you think. I think it would be pretty cool. 
we'll see what the secretary says. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's what we got done today. Tomorrow we're going to finish all the battens and get all the strapping done on the roof. I don't have the tin here yet but uh, it will be here soon, I think. Um, have to check on that, I guess. But uh, yeah, okay, guys, it's been a pretty productive day. I would have filmed more of this, but I had company over and stuff. But uh, yeah, so I didn't want to film when other people are around. So, But we got it done anyways. Okay, so we're back out here this morning. We're going to saw some logs this morning. We've got our cut list for that shed, and this is uh, plus one out here right now. I think it's almost December. Twenty ninth of November. So this is great weather for us, but um, not looking great. The next few days i mean still really good still getting to like minus one minus two during the day but minus nine at night minus 15. so we want to get this done we want to get the exterior on the shed finished today so that uh, we don't have to be out here not that that's cold or anything but it's just really nice to work in this weather so um <clears throat> yeah so we're gonna get out of here and get our cutlass cut and uh, hopefully get this all finished here today.
log gave us just enough. One log, 43 one by threes, two one by sixes, and a few odd cuts. One four inch, one four and three quarters, and one inch and a half. So that's what we got there. That one log did it all. There's actually two more one by threes sitting there, but I don't think I need them. So um, just past lunch, so we're going to head up and we're going to start putting these on the shed and getting that all fixed up. Oh, here it is. All finished up. Roof got strapped. I am missing one piece right here. I need it slightly bigger than three inches, so I'm going to have to rip rip a piece. So I still have to put the fascia boards up on the front and the back. Well, in the sides. And I have to put this piece in yet. And that should be it for now. And uh, I gotta go see if I can find a door for it. And I have to see when this tin is coming. So it's all strapped, ready to go. I am still really contemplating putting a wall right here. Um, I think I might do that. Um, even if I don't use this side for a sauna. Um, it can still be for storage and that can be dedicated for the, the pump. I'm not going to put a, a stereo in here too so that I'm going to have speakers on the outside here so it's pointing towards the fire pit. Right now I use the stereo in the garage and I have to turn it up really loud to get the volume at the fire pit. So. I want to uh, put two speakers right here at this end and aim them that way. And uh, yeah, so I want to put a stereo in there and also have to put that water line in. I'm gonna put some shelves in there and some hooks and stuff for shovels and rakes. And then this side, <clears throat> we just don't know yet. We'll see. I really think I am gonna partial partition that that section off. Um, I've already set myself up to do it really. I put some blocking in there so I can nail. Blocking up there, blocking up there. Um, just so I have a spot to nail that wall to. So well, that's it guys. I think I'm gonna end this video here because I don't know when that tin is coming. I would like to put it all in this video but I don't know when it's coming yet. Um, I have a bunch of it, not just for this building, but I've got another little project that's half done over there that I need it for. Um, and then I have enough coming for another project. I'm going to be building a building over top of the sawmill. Um, yeah, shelter over top of it. Hopefully that'll stop all that wind from blowing the sawdust around and I don't have to wear a dust mask and, uh, it's um, it's a toss-up between being able to breathe, so I put that mask on, <clears throat> or being able to see, because you can't have both. Um, if any of you guys know, through the pandemic, if you had to have a mask and glasses on at the same time, heaven forbid, well, you couldn't see out of your glasses. Um, so... You get to breathe or you get to see which one do you want. So I'd like to choose both. So I'm going to like to put that shelter up and hopefully stop some of that wind from blowing the dust right into my face. But that's it for this video, guys. I'm going to end it here and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.